Hey guys, uh, it's Saturday and I have a little event that I'm attending to today. It's usually done once a year. I'm, I've been doing it for a few years uh, to help them out. So I'm headed uh, to Seoul to meet with one of my uh, buddies and a fellow judger. Uh, so I'm headed down the um, stairs and I'm not I'm gonna try not to fall. Um, if you're wondering what these are, these are actually my uh, wireless headsets. Uh, it's really convenient. I have to carry it. I don't have to like get all tangled. So it's pretty cool. Ooh, in the subway, Gongcha. My wife is addicted to this thing now. Hey, so uh, I, I met up with my friend G. Uh, you might have seen him in the last video we did together about buying cameras in Namdaemun. Yep, and I can't believe John bought a selfie pole. <laughs> yes, I'm still using the selfie. Um, so yeah, uh, we met up a little early to grab some lunch and we're gonna try uh, a new place. Um, Alright, so while we wait for our food, um, today um, we're gonna be judging an English contest. It's the 8th annual HCN uh, Children's English Speaking Contest. It's usually done in Gangnam. Uh, around Pangbae, Socho area. Uh, we're gonna head over to the studio later. So, uh, for this speech contest, I think uh, it's actually not a bad idea. A lot of times, English in Korea is pushed on these uh, kids just for like getting into a good university and a good job, but there's no like practical application. So, but overall, I think it's it's not a bad experience to do. Uh, a lot of these kids, their English is actually quite good, and it's good in a usable conversation way versus just uh, just memorizing words or uh, just phrases and grammar because obviously speaking is much different than writing and reading. One of the grand prizes for these students is to, um, I believe, go to Hong Kong and visit the CNN and, you know, they can take their families with them. So it's a pretty good opportunity for um, the kids. Speaking of holding this giant pole in front of you as you walk. Uh, not as much because you're in it too. So. Uh, so we got some kitties arriving, and I'm pretty sure they're here for the uh, the, the contest, actually. So, um, so this is it, and I guess we'll see you later. Um, so we're here uh, filling out our paperwork uh, for our judge uh, judging thing. I'm sitting in the middle because I have seniority, and I've been doing this for a long time. <laughs> So they're probably used to it. Um, they're really cool people. It's finished um, the judging. Actually, it was a lot quicker than last year. Um, and I don't think many students applied this year. I don't know why, but uh, the students were great. Yeah, I thought this year was a lot more, the consistency level was a lot better. This year, the average level of English, uh, I guess, fluency and competency was much better than in prior years. But at the same time, uh, it seems like the standouts were a lot lot fewer, which I, I don't know, in a way I guess is a good thing. It shows everyone is in the middle of the pack, so it's harder to stand out. I just wanted to share with you guys uh, the judging experience uh, that I do uh, once a year. Uh, it's sponsored by HCN Broadcasting, and uh, it's with certain districts in Seoul, and students get to apply. And again, it's a speech contest, um, and the grand prize is a trip to Hong Kong to visit the CNN. So it's uh, trying to, uh, you know, influence kids to become anchors, um, to be in broadcasting. So it's a very, it's a fairly good program. So. Is there an entrance fee? Huh? Is there an entrance fee for them? Do you know? No, I don't. It's free. It's free. Yeah. There you go. It's free. So there's no reason not to try. Yeah. So anyway, I'll end my vlog today here, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.